Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing with you what we got our dogs for Easter this year. I'm so excited to get in their presents. They each got three. To give you a little bit of a backstory, we have two chocolate labs. One is going to be eight this year and the other one is going to be two this year. And um, we have a bit of a weight gap between the two of them. They are both full grown at this point. Our oldest lab is around 65 pounds and our youngest lab is 38 um, no, she's not a dwarf or anything. She's just really small. So, very much like me. Anyway, continuing on with what we got, we're going to start with Lewis's, what we got for Lewis. And this is her over-the-collar dog collar. How cute is that? It's got little Easter eggs on it. So cute. So, we didn't buy this new. She gets this every year for Easter, but obviously only wears it on Easter. Um, so that's hers. Her toy is a little avocado, and I can't exactly tell you what it sounds like right now because Luca is over here, and she's she's our, we call her our puppy. She's not a puppy anymore, but she will yank this out of my hand. So anyway, it's got a squeaker in it. Um, it's a little avocado toy, and then we picked this up from our, I'll just take it out of here. Look how cute this is. It's a pet bakery. Um but we picked this out of the pet bakery um, and it is a little bunny treat. So she gets her favorite color is purple. So we got her the purple one. Um, and if you are by a pet, pet, pet supplies plus, I don't know if they have those in anywhere but Ohio, but anyway, if they do in your town, go to, go to their store in store. They probably might have a bakery that you can actually pick out seasonal treats, um, birthday treats, like all kinds of stuff. They've, we've gotten them for, whoa, <laughs> we've gotten them for, um, Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day, birthdays, Easter, Luca is losing her mind. Okay, so now on to what we got for Luca. Um, she is getting this bandana. This has little jelly beans all over it. It's so cute. You can see the difference um, in the sizes between the two of them. This is what, this is kind of how big they are. So our <laughs> biggest lab is, yeah, way bigger than, way bigger than Luca. Louis is way bigger than Luca. Um, so they both got a bandana. They each got a bandana. Um, Luca got this toy. This does not have a squeaker in it. I was so excited because she has another ball like this. It's got a squeaker in it and it's got the most annoying high-pitched squeaker. And my son, I have a three-year-old, and he loves to just sit and be like, wah, 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 wah. and it like drives me like I can't, I have no sanity when he's done squeaking that thing. So I know she loves balls like this. So I was like, okay, let's get her a ball. Squeezed it, didn't have a squeaker. I was like, win win, chicken den. Um, and then we also picked her up from the bakery another bunny, but she got a little teal one. So each dog got a treat, a toy, and something to wear. So I feel like that can help you if you are a pet mom um, or dad and you are looking for something special to get your fur babies for whatever holiday it is. Something to eat, something to play with, and something to wear are your really good starter goals. And these were not that expensive, guys. The, this was, I want to say this was $4.99 and then this was free because we had this from when Lewis was a um, smaller dog. Okay, I need you to get down. Please just get down. I know that you really want these things, but I want you to get down. Luca, stay down. Stay down. She's tripping right now. Um, and then these treats were $1.98 a piece. So all together, oh, and then this avocado toy I think was $5 too. So $5, 10 12 14 We spent a total of less than $15 on, on both dogs combined. Um, so and you can obviously just resurface a toy that your dog hasn't played with in a while. Like we have a dog toy bin and sometimes when I take all of them out and like re-put them in there, the dogs will find like older toys that they haven't played with in a while. So you can always do that too. That's a hot tip unless your dogs are ones that like just completely destroy every toy and then which that is not an option for you. But just a little bit of a tip there for you. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget I am having videos out every single day at the month of March. 
This has been so much fun and I've been enjoying the heck out of hanging out with you guys, getting to know you a little bit more. Um, and again, thank you so much if you have been one of the ones who has liked, subscribed, commented on all the videos, hung out with me, supported me, and had fun with me. I appreciate you so much. Don't think that you go unnoticed because you absolutely don't. Um, and I'm just grateful for you. I'm grateful for every single comment and every single person that watches every single one of my videos. Um, this is just a fun journey for me. Um, if you've never met me before, my name is Allison and I am a mom of two little, I almost said four, but I, I don't have four kids. I have two kids and I have two dogs. Um, and they are just light of my life and I absolutely just enjoy them so much. So if you love homemaking content is really really what I do here, but I also do lifestyle, um, which includes motherhood. So if you like that kind of content, stick around for more. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, and join me for more special content for the month of March as I am doing March Momness. Um, and I have been covering all kinds of topics, um, doing chit chats, lots of clean with me, some Easter fun in there. And I just released my Easter decorate with me. Also, what's in my children's Easter baskets. And then obviously, you just watch what's in my doggies kind of Easter baskets. We don't actually put their stuff in baskets, but because Luca would destroy hers. <laughs> She'd probably eat the wicker and everything. But anyway, that is it for today, and I'll see y'all in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.